So I'm back again guys. Sorry for the cut. It's actually two days later. I tried filming yesterday with the iPhone because I forgot to charge the camera battery. I wasn't happy with the outcome. Let's put it that way. So I'm back again with the DSLR dedicated microphone to keep the quality the same. And without further ado, let's get going. I've stopped with the singles, with the Olivia Series V Melanio cigars, if I remember correctly. We had all the others already, so what's left is this little box here. He put them in a Cuaba cigar box from Cuba. Of course there aren't Cuaba cigars in there. He just put them inside for transportation purposes. So, opening it up and we are greeted with a nice selection oops, of cigars. I have the list here with all the prices on it. And I think we will be going from left to right, keeping the most expensive one for last. First off, we have the Leaf by Oscar Valadares. Let's get the price out of the way. Leaf by Oscar Toro Sumatra. A single stick goes for 7 euros and 90 cents. Comes in a box of 20. And there we have this beauty. If the camera wants to focus on it. There we go. Nicely wrapped in a um, tobacco leaf. Gives, us, gives the whole thing a special flair, in my opinion. And it smells really delicious. Really sweet. And it just doesn't smoke it. But I'm keeping this one for a little bit later. Of course, I picked up two of them. So if I really enjoy it, I will have a second one waiting for me in my humidor. Then, next in line, we have two, two Roma Craft cigars. If I remember correctly, this one is the Roma Craft Chrome Magnon Cranium. Yeah, that's a, if the cellophane on it, the camera doesn't really want to focus on it. That should do the trick. The chrome magnum cranium. Nice thick toro size. And then we have, sorry for the blurriness, but the next cigar is coming up. The Romacraft Aquain Cranium. I think that's how you pronounce it. Aquain Cranium in a toro size as well. I've heard good things about them, so I definitely want to try them. Well, pretty much. I've heard good things about all the cigars I have in this box here. Otherwise I wouldn't have bought them. I solely went on reviews and taken a look at what I might enjoy. So it would make everything a little bit easier when I'm standing there in this big ass humidor. Then we have next up two rocket battles, the Kate Torpedo. Um, six and a half by 52 ring size. I'll try to focus the camera on it once again. There we go. Hopefully somewhere in that range. Nice torpedo size. Box pressed. And I'm, like I said, I'm a fan of Rocky Batalsi gas. So, I definitely, so... There was no way around picking them up, as well as the next one, which is the Rocky Battle 15th Anniversary. That thing has great reviews all around. International Torpedo. Um, okay, no size on the back. 
like I said, I didn't write down any information or so on. If you're interested, just Google it. It makes the whole thing easier and the video shorter. Because I'm just rushing through here because I know how long the previous clips were. And I have an estimate how long this will this one will be. And I want to finish up as quickly as possible because it's ridiculously hot inside here. So let's get this over with because I have to film another video right after this one, this one, because I've got a package which is related to cigars and it's something I'm really looking I was really looking forward to and maybe you guys are interested in as well. So let's keep it rolling. Next up we have some Joya de Nicaragua Antonio. Robusto, Robusto Grande, a single stick, 4 euros and 60 cents, and comes in a box of 20. There we go. I'm glad I picked them up because I really enjoyed the Joya Black already, and this one's supposed to be better. Well, with a different flavor profile, but the Joya Antonio are supposed to be really good cigars, so I hope it live up to that, especially for 4 euros and 60 cents. That's a bargain, if they're really good. Talking about bargain, damn, what a transition. These three cigars. Let's play a little game. They are Petomo, uh, where do we have it? Petomo Estate Selection Imperio Sun Grown. That's a mouthful. Let's take a guess down in the comments without looking up how much a single stick goes for, because I was really surprised because they had a heavy discount on it, which just made them a steal. He only said good things about it, that they are really good, but the problem was not a whole lot of people bought them because of the price. So they were just lying around wasting space for quite some time. So my guess, if, guess is they have some age on it as well. Can't say how much, he didn't know either. But because they were wasting space, he said, you know what? Massive discount if you pick them up. And I want them gone so I can stock something else, something more interesting for the people. And I would say what I paid for this one. I paid for a single stick, single stick, six euros and twenty cents. It comes in a box of twenty. Yes, box of twenty. And the original price was twenty-four euros per stick. So a discount from twenty-four euros to six euros and twenty cents. Now we are talking. I've already smelled one of those, and I must say. If they taste as good as they smell, I will not be disappointed because they smell freaking fantastic. I could just sit here the whole day and just smell them. Makes me really want to light up one of those. But I think I'm gonna keep them for a little bit more of a special occasion. Because I don't know if I will be able to pick them up again, or at least at that price. Maybe next month when I'm back there visiting, probably buying a few more sticks. And if they still have some of left of them, I think I'm gonna pick them up. I know these ones were the Toro size, they had some Robustus as well I think, I think it was Robusto. So, who knows, who knows, funnily enough, the Robusto and the Toro size were both the same price, both went for 6 euros and 20 cents per stick, so it was an easy decision to go with the bigger one. 
then yesterday, yesterday I went to a local tobacconist and picked a few cigarillos up. I'm just throwing these inside of this video because I don't want to do a separate one. Picked up some Monte Cristo Club. The 10 cigarillos inside. Cuban, of course. Hensho and Cubana. Looking somewhat like this. Fold it up. And there we have it. Then I picked up some Perdomo Mini white, which are the Connecticut version, there's also the black, which is Maduro, and the red one, which is a sun grown, if I remember correctly. There were warning labels all around it, of course, but the good thing about these metal boxes, you can just peel them off. If you open it up without letting anything fall out, you greet it with a paper insert with Perdomo white 20 cigarillos and there we have them and yes I've already smoked a few of them during my lunch break since I like to smoke a cigarillo or a mini cigar I'm talking about a Toscano maybe so I cut the, cut the Toscano in half one half of it because I only have a 30 minute lunch break and that's too short for a pipe and the cigarillos are just a nice fit with a nice espresso. So that's my go to. Anyway, all in all, so cigars and pipe tobacco, I've paid 445 euros and 92 cents. That's after I've already got a discount because of the amount I've bought. The original price would have been 459 euros and 70 cents. Without the tobacco, we are somewhere around 400 euros just for cigars alone. So I think that's the most or the biggest amount of cigars I've ever bought. And I will probably not buy as many again next time I'm visiting, or I hope so. Because I will bring my best friend with me to hold me back. That I don't go overboard again. Anyway, we are already recording 30 minutes again, 13 minutes again. Time, fl time flies by pretty fast. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the vi these videos, guys. Leave a comment if you want to know anything. And as always, take care. Happy smoking and I hopefully see you in another video. Bye.